We are investigating the changes exhibited over the course of one week of physical therapy at an inpatient rehabilitation hospital in Spokane, Washington. My name is Gina Sprint. I'm a graduate student at Washington State University studying computer science under the guidance of Dr. Diane Cook. For this project, I am the computer scientist on the team. I program everything from data collection, raw signal processing, to metric computation, statistical analyses, and machine learning algorithms. Often when an individual suffers from an injury or illness, such as stroke, they have to undergo intense rehabilitation in order to regain everyday functioning. To quantify this rehabilitation process, we are utilizing wearable inertial sensors to quantitatively track the rehabilitation process. My name is Vladimir Beisov. Um, my role on this project is to kind of look at the results and apply the concepts of biomechanics to better understand what we see going on in a clinical setting. Uh, so the technology that we're using on this project uh, involves some wireless sensors and they measure linear acceleration and angular velocity. So with these sensors we measure the movements of rehabilitation patients as they go through their therapy. So we start off with putting three sensors on the body, one in the lower back near the center mass, and then we put one on each shank in line with the tibias, and that way we can capture their motion on a sequence of events in the community here at St. Luke's. And as they walk this course that's designed, we capture their movement abilities, and then we look at it again about a week later. So we start off in like a simulated hotel lobby. Again, so three, two, one, begin. They get up and walk in a straight line, going through a surface transition on a shag rug and then they continue on until we ask them a question to test their ability to stop, whether they stop walking while they're talking. And then they move into a curvilinear path around an SUV and move over an obstacle and then get in and out of the SUV and come back. So we test them in a real life situation where the activities are simulated and close to what they would be doing outside of therapy when they return to the real world. So this is an example of a project that assist the therapist in knowing how well the, the patient is doing with regard to recovery of gait. And so this is an important project for us uh, because we know that it has the potential for bringing great benefit to the patient. My name is Doug Weeks and I'm the Director of Research here at St. Luke's. Uh, my role on the project has been really to support the efforts of the, the graduate students from WSU in getting this project conducted. This setting that we're in right now and the setting that the project is, is conducted in is called St. Luke's Community, composed of a banking module, a hotel lobby module, uh, an office module, and then a, a drugstore or a shopping area. And the patients can come in and experience real world activities in those areas so that they gain practice with what types of skills they might be using once they get back into the community. We also have an outdoor component in St. Luke's community that I'm actually sitting in right now uh, that allows the patients to gain experience with transfers in and out of different types of vehicles. Uh, for example, we have uh, a sedan that the patient can practice transfers into and out of. We have uh, an SUV, an STA bus, uh, and we also have an aircraft fuselage so that if a patient is going to be uh, having to travel by air to move back into the community, they can get practice with what it's like to be able to transfer in and out of an airline seat. From the wearable sensor data collected, we compute over 40 different metrics related to movement and gait. For example, a simple metric is the vehicle challenge duration. This is the total amount of time it takes for a patient to transfer into and then out of the SUV module. A few more complicated metrics related to gait are cadence, the average number of steps taken per minute while walking during the linear portion of the ambulatory circuit, and step symmetry, which is the consistency between the left and the right shank in both magnitude and timing of the acceleration signals. We use statistical measures such as the standardized mean difference effect size and the reliable change index to quantify the changes in these metrics over the course of one week of physical therapy. Finally, we use both the metrics and their associated change scores as inputs to machine learning algorithms to predict patient functioning and independence levels at discharge from the inpatient rehabilitation hospital. Our results indicate that when utilizing our wearable sensor derived features, we have an improved prediction accuracy over using features derived from medical records alone.